If you are looking for a book in Snowden Library, then you've come to the right place. This video will teach you how to use the catalog to search for books and to create a free account that you can use to renew books online. Let's start at the library's home page. If you scroll down, you can click on the catalog link and type in your keywords into the search box. I am going to search for medieval food and click the search button. In the catalog, you could see that we found 26 results. If you found too many results, you may want to narrow your search using the filters on the left-hand side of the page. Here, you can tell the database exactly what kind of book you're looking for, whether that is a physical book or an ebook, and you can narrow your search in a number of different ways. Scrolling through the results, I can see exactly what type of result I am looking at by looking underneath the item's picture. Many of these results are print books, but there are a couple of ebooks and they will look like this. To access an ebook in the catalog, you will click more options to go to the actual ebook. But let's say I'm interested in this physical book. I can click on the title and this will lead me to the book's record in the catalog. Here, I can learn a little bit about the book, including who the author is, when it was published, who published it, which is all good information if I want to cite this later. Now, if I want to find this actual book in the library, I will need to pay attention to this table under Shelf Location at Snowden Library. First, I will need to see whether or not this book is actually in the library. This book is checked in, if it was checked out by someone else, it would say checked out in red letters. If this is the case and you still want to check this book out, you can place a hold on the book. This will save your place in line and you will be notified once this book is in the library. Now, since this book is checked in, I can determine exactly where it is in the library using two pieces of information on this page. First, I know that this item is in the general collection that is on the third and fourth floors of the library. If this says reference collection, that will be on the first floor of the library. Next, I know exactly where this book is because of this long list of letters and numbers, which is called a call number. I want to pay special attention to the first two letters of this number. Now I know that the books on the third floor of the library, they have books starting with the call numbers A through H. On the fourth floor, you can find books whose call numbers begin with J through Z. T falls between J through Z, so I know this is on the fourth floor of the library. If you have any questions about finding a book in the library, you can always ask a librarian to help you. Now let's say I am interested in finding similar materials. I can either click these links, these subject links, to find similar materials, or I can also look around this book on the shelf to find similar materials because all of our books are organized by subject. You can also do this in the catalog by clicking Browse Virtual Shelf. Here, you can see similar items, and you can click on these to look at their catalog records. This also includes ebooks. Another great feature of the catalog is that you can create a free account to manage your library materials easily online. So let's click the login button in the upper right hand corner of the page. So you can log in with either your library card number or an easy login if you have already created that. If you have never logged in before, your library card number is the nine digit number that appears under the barcode on your Lycoming ID. Your PIN is the last four digits of your social security number. Once you are logged in, you can then create your own easy login. Once logged in, you can click on your account at the top right hand corner of the page. Here, you can view what books you have checked out. And if you wanted to renew them, you could do that by clicking the buttons here. Here you can also see your saved list of books. You can save a book 
to a list when you are looking at the record and you can click this add to list button right here. Once you have a book that you'd like to check out of the library, all you need to do is take that book and your student ID to the circulation desk on the first floor of the library and they can help you check the book out there. Have any questions? Ask a librarian.